Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this video, we are going to see about what is a perspective in SSAS tabular model. Basically, uh, perspective is like um, it can be when you compare to the uh, database level, I mean, database SQL, uh, like it's like a view. Like you have a SSAS tabular uh, one table and you want to have uh, only four columns to be seen by user right so you will create a view and you will not expose all other columns same way in your SSAS tabular model you have uh, multiple tables say for example multiple uh, tables are 10 to 20 tables and for sales module there are only few tables are used uh, three to four tables so someone who wants to create uh, reports based on sales module doesn't want to see all 20 tables for finance or HR. So you will have only a uh, restricted uh, model. I mean, uh, from the entire model, you are exposing only sales perspective. So only four tables will be visible to the those who are creating sales. That is what we perspective is all about. You're just having a sub cubes or it's not typically creating a cube on top of the cube you are creating some views that will have some tables or restricted uh, uh, it's not uh, more or less about a restriction or security it's like once we create you will get familiar with that if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the concepts in SSA's tabular model and um, let's see it in a demo so we have deployed a model here and you can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight uh, tables appearing. And we have just connected a Power BI uh, report. I mean, uh, fr uh, from that model, we have connected to Power BI and generated some uh, report over here. So let us make it like this. That's okay. So let me show the data source settings now when you click on this uh, a database you can see this model contains all the perspective contains this perspective basically the model will internally create a perspective with all the selected tables but i want to select only the sales table so that my model will look very small okay so in that case what you need to do so basically uh, you can create multiple perspective let us try to create two perspectives one for, for sales another for uh, mm, some other finance guys uh, for uh, or something like a product uh, analysis okay let me create and manage so new perspective i'll say sales for them i want to give fact sales and dim product only these two they want to see so i have created sales next someone with the product okay uh, i will say like uh, our customer 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 wise sales so i will say fact sales and you see only the customer okay this is another perspective and along with that they let them have a currency also so these uh, three tables a customer perspective people uh, I mean customer perspective will see and someone who have access I mean who is accessing sales will have access to only these two tables so let me close it so this is one of the structural change I have did that is added a two perspective so whatever structural changes you do in the cube you need to deploy it so go to solution explorer and click on it check the properties once full that's fine then deploy it now before deploying uh, I, I already shown you like now you come here you see okay I mean uh, the model uh, earlier we have seen only uh, one model like when you click on it it will have all the tables now you see it was deployed here it was very quick so now I got sales and customer perspective when I click on sales now you see dim product and fake internet sales only these two is appearing if you click on customer the currency customer and sales so only these uh, objects will appear so I am going to sales now click on sales there you go so now you are not 
uh, seeing all the objects instead whatever is specific to you you can see it so this is basically perspective is uh, uh, restricting some objects specific to certain domain it's like creating a view in your table okay but it is not applicable to it, it the, the pers you cannot restrict a perspective i mean this is not useful for a security perspective uh, what i'm trying to say is this is not actually applying a security for the users this is basically you're creating multiple views of your model that is what so now when i switch to a uh, customer perspective uh, i will get three tables here there you go so three tables over here so this is what it is so everything you can change it in in the ssa tabular model so this is what a perspective is all about if you like this video hit the bell icon and if you are new to this channel do subscribe comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset